With a pulled hamstring, Scott Severin took his place in a heart side which otherwise picked itself. Well, Rangers left George Alberts and Seb Rosenthal on the bench. Two guy was in the starting lineup, as was Billy Dodds, who scored a hat trick against Ayr on Saturday. Referee Willie Young, match commentator Peter Martin. It's a Rangers side within touching distance of another Premier League title and as far as Dick Advocat is concerned the sooner they achieve that the better but for Hearts well European football is also on the agenda and if Saturday's defeat of Celtic is anything to go by the confidence should be sky high here's Presley oh the nice dummy in there here's Adam he's looking up has he got some support in there that was a crucial tackle by Barry Ferguson because Darren Jackson was in the middle Well, Adam streaking away there, more in good fortune. I don't think the pass initially was meant as a back flick, ended up as a dummy which set Adam off, and it gives Hearts a corner through Darren Jackson. In goes Gordon Petric with a header down. Well, we've yet to see the best of Gordon Petric in a Hearts jersey. Cloudy Arena. Allowed to come inside, Van Bronckhorst. Two guys available, should he need them. Plays it inside once again to Barry Ferguson. Trying to short. Quick pass to Rod Wallace. Wallace again, Reina. Nice ball in there, the head flick on. There's a shot! Good save, Nyemi. Billy Dodge just hooking that ball towards goal. It was a nice ball in, it was just a little touch. And then... The hook shot from Billy Dodds trying to catch Niemi out. Rod Wallace getting the flick on. And Niemi stopping Billy Dodds from getting another goal. Makel picking it up for Hearts. And here's a chance now. Is he going to lob Klaus? This could be an opening goal, it is! Got him in swing and repeats his feet. A goal against Celtic on Saturday and a goal against Rangers in midweek and that's what it means to the home support. Well, just what was happening there in the Rangers defence, they were caught out, Amoruso just diving towards me, swinging, but he lifted it over Klaus. Well, just inside 12 minutes and McSwiggin. Well, he put his foot in where it hurts. And it's Hearts with the lead. And the manager clearly delighted. And the atmosphere inside the ground has picked up as you would expect. And Petric has given away a foul and a free kick in a dangerous area. Gordon Petric just checking that Rod Wallace is okay. And dare I suggest there are a number of candidates that only one who's interested right now and it's Lorenzo Amoruso with a free kick driving it in comes up the chest here's a chance double save by Niemi oh that was magnificent by the Hearts goalkeeper there was the drive I don't think he could hold it two Rangers players in there Dodge just trying to direct it towards goal a powerful shot he couldn't hold on to it and it looked odds on that Billy Dodds would get the rebound but Niemi making the double save and it keeps Hart's lead intact but here come Rangers through Rod Wallace Kinchelskis and again Kinchelskis getting a telling cross in and Billy Dodds trying to get on the end of it once again well he's had three telling crosses in Andre Kinchelskis nobody has yet taken full advantage sooner or later of Hearts keep allowing the Russian winger to put in the service somebody will take advantage of it now here's an opportunity two guy looking up Van Bronckers letting fly with the left second opportunity in this match for Giovanni Van Bronckers and on both occasions failing to get any real power or direction Here's Flogel. Adam. Adam. 
closely covered. Good work by the Frenchman. Held the ball up. Didn't really have much support. Here he is again. Across it there, he's a chance for Jackson shot! Oh, just passed! Darren Jackson. Good opportunity. And again. A crucial interception by Scott Wilson. Ferguson. One minute of injury time will be added. And there's a chip in, a lovely ball by Barry Ferguson. Wallace! It's in the net, Ron Wallace! Well, the Hearts defence were starting there. They were waiting for Willie Young to give them a free kick. And let's have a look at it. It was a wonderful ball, and it was a handball, which is why so many of the Hearts players were starting. Ferguson, two guy, and that clearly has worked to the benefit of Rangers. They're back level, and it's clearly an arm used by two guy. But the ball's in the net, the referee played the advantage to Rangers. And it's 1-1. One, one. Referee Willie Young brings the first half to a close. And he is the main man of contention. Gary McSwiggin gave Hearts the leads in 11 minutes with a love which deceived not only Amoriso but Kloss in the Rangers goal but Tugai clearly handled the ball from a wonderful pass. Willie Young waved play on, and Rod Wallace took full advantage to draw Rangers level to make the half-time score here at Tyne Castle. Willie Young gets this second half underway, and the man in the middle has quite clearly incensed the Hearts players at his decision to allow Rangers goal just on the stroke of half-time to stand. Rangers to the credit, played to the whistle, Rod Wallace dispatched the ball into the back of the net. And it means, at the start of the second half, it's all level, one apiece. And they just have to get on with it. Rangers started the better of the two sides early on, they may well start in the second half. Rod Wallace starting the second half, the way he finished the first. And I'm sure we'll see a more determined Rangers in this second half. They certainly started well enough in this match, but Arch just got the upper hand. Gary McSwiggin took full advantage of a defensive lapse. And the home side were deserving of their one goal lead. Now, Amoriso on walkabout. Poor play, here's a chance for Hart McSwiggin again. A drive, oh, it's just passed! Oh, McSwiggin ever so close to giving Hearts the one goal advantage again, just swivelled on it. Tomasek, now haven't seen much of the Slovakian. Amoruso with a clearing header. And again, Makel looking up, looking for Tomasek, looking for the move, lovely play. Naismith, the cross in, there's the header again, it's a brilliant save! Oh, that was world class from Stefan Kloss. What a save! Well, sometimes goalkeepers can save you from losing matches. That was a magnificent save. Top drawer, Stefan Kloss. It looked goal bound. He just got his arm to it. Finish. Wallace. Ferguson. Well, Murray Ferguson has time in the middle of the park, which is a rare feat in this match. Van Bronckhorst. Just trying to chip it towards Kanchelska, he's a chance, but Billy Dodds! 2-1 Rangers! What were the Hearts defence thinking about there? Billy Dodds! Five goals in three matches, and a crucial goal there, which gives Rangers the lead. Well, Amoruso just put it over the back of the defence, Dodds was there to pick up the header back. Well, a simpler goal, I don't think Rangers will score this season. 
Caruso. Lovely ball in by the Rangers captain. Kanchelska's great work. Dodge with the finish. That's what it means to the manager. Just losing out. Kanchelskis. Now only one player covering Kanchelskis. Can he make an impression? A lovely play by the Russian. Well, he drives it in. Good save again by Niemi. Well, I think everyone, including me, was anticipating the cross. Andrei Kanchelskis had other ideas. And that would have been going in had it not been for the intervention of Andy Niemi. Alberts. Sweeping it in, he's missed it, just manages to get a hand near me. A wry smile towards Rod Wallace, who would have no doubt taken full advantage had near me not got the hand on it. Kanchel's guess, sweeping it in, there's a shot, good save again near me. Van Brockhurst was on his own with a free shot at goal. Filton. Towards goal, and again this time with the head. That is a free kick again in a difficult area. And Lorenzo Amoruso, I would think twice about questioning the referee's decision. Now, this is a dangerous position, and probably at this point in the match, the best opportunity Hearts have to try and draw level. Will it be Jackson, or is there someone else? to try and craft the equaliser, Jackson weighing it up, Makel and Simpson there, referee happy with the wall, Jackson's moved away, which means Simpson's there, Makel driving it low, he's got another chance, shoots again, and the wall doing its work, Tomashek driving it in, close there with the clearance, Dodds. Now here's a chance for Rangers to break in numbers. And there they go, Kinchelskis. And Hawks back. Albert from here. This is a shot. He knew exactly what was on the cards the minute George Albert picked that ball up. He had space and everything in front of him. Hawks desperate now just to salvage anything from this game. Here comes Jackson, cleared away by Wilson. Now is this a chance for Rangers to break? Billy Dodds. And they have men up in numbers. Here come Rangers, Kachelskis, Wallace is there, Albert, there's the shot, great save, Niemi. Lovely work by Rangers on the break, Albert's with the right foot. Every having a look at his watch, Presley has to try and get it towards goal, Makel. Rangers will take the throw in and I would suggest that may well be the last piece of activity in this match and referee Willie Young brings the game to a close to Kanbakan, three points nearer the title, two more wins We'll make it a second successive championship win. Four Rangers, Scotty McSwiggin, had given Hart an early lead from a long ball and a chip over Rangers goalkeeper. But the talking point will undoubtedly be two guys, Aram being used to create the goal for Rod Wallace. But in the end, this game was settled by a goal from Billy Dodds, crafted by Amoruso. Kanchelskis nodded it back. Dodds provided the finish at Tate Castle. It's Hart's one, Rangers two. I know Hearts feel maybe a wee bit aggrieved they didn't take something from this game. Would you go along with that? Well, I can understand uh, that they're unhappy. They were almost unbeaten the last 12 games. They lost one or two games, so they had an excellent run, especially after the game last Saturday against Celtic. And uh, they work again very hard for it to get a result. But uh, I think I have to give the compliment also on my own team. Uh, after the Saturday game, uh, they showed a lot of character after one nothing. Uh, the 1-1 one, one and uh, the second half, the 2-1. I thought we put Rangers under an awful lot of pressure in the last 15, 10, 15 minutes and they gave me everything to try and get something out of the game. So, uh, terrific attitude, terrific work rate and it all goes well for the running and, uh, and maybe a wee bit more in the long term when you see the quality players that are settling down in the way that we're playing. 
the pictures show for the Rangers equaliser the ball did actually hit the man's shoulder but what was the mood in the dressing room at half time? Your boy's angry? Well, I don't know about his shoulder, I think it hits the top of his arm for me because uh, you know his hands up and he's used it and I think it's a, it's a handball, I think everybody in the ground seen it as a handball and uh, you know, we, but we paid the penalty stopping because we thought automatically it was going to be a free kick. The players must feel they have one hand in that trophy already, Billy. Two wins away from it. Yeah, but we'll take every game as it comes. Take nothing for granted. Just work hard in every game. And well, if we, if we do the, work hard the way we work tonight, I'm sure the title will come to Ibrox.